Back to Matt Patrick. Okay, Terry, news time is 546. Glad you're listening this morning. Joining me right now, Johnson County Police Lieutenant Tim Jones joining us here on Houston's Morning News. Lieutenant Jones, I just, first of all, uh, want to tell you how uh, how grateful we are that nobody was uh, killed with all of these uh, tornadoes coming through. Our thoughts and prayers uh, with uh, everyone in that area. It was was this? Did this come up on you uh, quickly? It, it seemed that maybe uh, the residents there uh, were kind of unprepared for all this. Well, we're in the rural area of the Dallas Metroplex to the southwest, and the storms actually appeared to have started over us. The alarms were going off, um, but when you have a rural area, just like you do in some of your areas down there, you know, it's a, it's a little different area to uh, try to control. It's not like in a, you know, metropolitan area where people have more control and act, you know, of what's going on. They uh, did seem to do what they needed to. We were very blessed. We had no injuries in the damage that we did have. Lieutenant Jones, what was your experience as the storm started rolling through right where you were? Well, I was... Uh, about a mile and a half from where the storm was, and I kept looking, and I was listening. I said, it doesn't look right, but I couldn't hear anything. And then all of a sudden, the radio uh, traffic went nuts, so I started heading that direction. I arrived, I was probably about the fourth one to the area, and it was, uh, had two areas that were hit, one, only one home in one, and three in the others, plus a lot of outbuildings, you know, barns, uh, large workshops, and yard sheds. Mm-hmm. And it was pretty well damaged, you know, and we were blessed no one was hurt. Our people were doing search and rescue recovery. We had a large command post set up. We probably had close to 45 personnel ready to go wherever we needed to. And, uh, Lieutenant, you are, you are correct. Uh, you were blessed. Uh, we, we were certainly blessed here in the state of Texas uh, that we didn't lose uh, any Texans uh, to this storm. We just lost property, which, of course, uh, can be replaced. And I, I, as you survey uh, the damage in Johnson County and the surrounding areas, how long do you think it will take uh, for the cleanup? You know, it won't be that bad. I mean, of course, for the folks that don't have homes, it'll be a long time. But our roads have all been cleared already. And when you go uh, into Dallas, uh, Arlington, and up that way up to Forney, they're going to have a lot of work ahead of them. Uh, Johnson County Police Lieutenant Tim Jones joining us here this morning. So, Lieutenant Jones, I've got to ask you, the State Operations Center was mobilized by the governor immediately. How quickly did that emergency response get to everybody as a result of that action? We didn't need them in our area. We were able to handle what we had, so they went straight up into the DFW area and started handling with them. But we were in contact with our emergency management officer who was communicating with them if we had any needs. And, Lieutenant, if you would hang on just uh, one second. Well, let me ask you this now. I've, I've, I've got the time. What can we do here in Houston? Is there anything that we can do here uh, for our friends in Dallas? Uh, we're not fond of the football team, but we are fond of the people that live there. Um, what what can we do to be helpful? I'd probably say, uh, you know, Red Cross, uh, different donation uh, groups like that, some of the private church groups for the people that really need it. You know, we're like I said, we're pretty good here in the rural area. We handle ourselves. You know, one house I went to that was destroyed. Uh, I'd been there. I left, and by the time I got back, there was 15 different vehicles there with people helping clean up and doing whatever the family needed. So we're pretty self-reliant out in the rural areas, but, you know, the Metroplex area himself, I'm sure, would need donations from the Red Cross and other groups. And we'll do everything we can. Johnson County Police Lieutenant Tim Jones. And joining us live now with more on the effort to help those displaced by the tornadoes, Dan Halliburton with the Dallas chapter of the American Red Cross. Dan, when did you first realize that the storms were as severe as they turned out to be? Uh, when I had to take shelter in a bathroom in Arlington. Uh, I, was in the, I was actually in the path of the storm yesterday. And uh, I think while we knew there was the potential for severe weather, it's certainly something we know that happens here in Texas. Uh, I think everybody was surprised by the severity of those supercells. Boy, Dan, watching it, it was just uh, alarming to watch. So how many people have been displaced as a result of these storms? We checked in about 200 people to our Lancaster shelter that's south of Dallas yesterday. Um, as I was leaving there last evening, there were about 50 on scene. Uh, people were going to start probably coming back into the shelter. Uh, what will happen many times, people will come in, register to be in the shelter, and then they'll find friends and family to make uh, other arrangements with. Uh, we had three shelters open. We closed one of those. 
the damage is severe, but it's widespread. And uh, we're going to be out, of course, at sunup to look at that damage and have a better understanding for that. I'm hearing numbers as high as 400 homes impacted in the Arlington area between Dallas and Fort Worth. There was a neighborhood in the Lancaster area that was very hard hit that has dozens of homes in it. So I think that as the sun comes up this morning, we'll start to have that number start to come together and we'll have a better idea of just how many homes were impacted. Dan, thank you so much for that information. That is Dan Halliburton with the Dallas chapter of the American Red Cross. And the big work happens this morning when they go out to see exactly what transpired yesterday afternoon.